I wanted to drink a glass of wine, but it's the type that you twist off and for some reason I ain't strong enough. So I'm gonna pop my beer bottle. This is easier to twist. And you know, MGD, you ain't promoting me, but um, fuck it. I need a drink for this video because Young Easy Vlogs uploaded a video called Why My Brother Doesn't Like My Crush, The Truth. Okay, so now this is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Well, us being the audience, but this is gonna be deep. I don't know if it's gonna be a prank, if it's gonna be a joke, or if it's a real serious talk. By the sounds of it, I'm gonna need a beer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right to it and let's see what her brother has to say about it. Y'all ready? Cause I sure as hell am. I'm telling you now, your relationship with Natalie is going to be your downfall. What are you talking about? I mean, honestly, I just, I don't like her. I don't like Natalie. I don't think she's right for me. Race? Bro, I'm not just not Are you kidding I mean, me? You wanted honesty, didn't you? Yo, hold on. Yo, 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 yo. I don't know if this shit's real, but it looked like he was about to tear up. And he is a sensitive boy. Mm, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. <laughs> What's poppin' easy? Now that intro I like. It's short, straight to the point, and you can sing along. Okay, what up, y'all? What up, what up? Well, y'all already know I'm turned up. I'm lit on this mm -hmm. channel. Okay, so today is a really cool day, and actually I'm kind of nervous because this was a highly requested video, okay? And a lot of you guys have been asking me, and I guess I haven't answered these questions enough, but today is the day. Okay, today's the day where you guys are gonna get this answer. And before we get into that, I wanna say, if you're new to this channel, welcome to the latest channel on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn my post notifications on, and follow me on Instagram, okay? okay. I post funny ass videos on my Instagram. It's lit over there. I'm glad that she's promoting. Let me take this time to promote as well. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, like my video, share my video. I've been doing this for a while now, so give me some support, please. Oh, by the way, I have an Instagram that I just started not too long ago and uh, I need some followers. Can y'all help me out? It's at bliss underscore uncensored. Check it out. Follow me young easy, it's right here below. And also, yo, if y'all don't know, my birthday was last week, but I asked you guys, I was like, hey, if you guys wanna give me a present, send me a dollar on Cash App. When I say I didn't know how many supporters I had, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for sending me your dollars. And some people were sending $10, $5, $100. I really Damn. appreciate you guys. And I just really wanna say thank you so much. I do these funny videos. Have you seen her car? I don't think she needs y'all money. Be supportive and everything, but y'all don't gotta give her money. Y'all are giving her money by watching her videos. <laughs> I do pranks, so I do- I'm kidding guys, do whatever the fuck you want. Just for you guys, you know what I'm saying? To entertain you guys, especially during this quarantine, so thank you so much for everything. For always supporting me and riding for me, you know what I'm saying? Easy gang, you know what I'm saying? Okay, saying? okay let me just give you guys the whole story, if you don't know and you're new. Okay, so pretty much two weeks ago, I expressed my love to my best friend on my other channel, EZX Natalie, right? And that was super intense, y'all. Expressing my feelings, showing my love, and it was just like nerve-wracking, you know what I'm saying? And luckily for me, my best friend is in love with me too, and it was freaking emotional. I got <coughs> excuse me family's opinion i asked my mom for advice she was going through it so it was just a, a super roller coaster but now we're at the point to where we're exploring this love you know and not fighting it anymore and i'm super super happy y'all y'all already know i got the biggest smile and look i can't lie look y'all can't lie man natalie is like so freaking beautiful man she's like the best girl that's ever came into my life so i'm super excited but you guys just wanted to know when we did the reaction video from our family members where was my brother you know you guys really oh yeah to know how my brother felt that's about right he wasn't the there how he felt about natalie so today i'm gonna give that to you and i also want to kind of get some okay. some some relationship advice so before i bring up natalie you know i'm gonna try to you know ask him some questions you know how to get the ladies you feel me so without further ado give this video a huge thumbs up comment below that you're part of the easy gang you're following this journey subscribe to my other channel easy x just got another book sale. And ladies, if you don't know, I dropped a book called Mastering the Art of Get Social that Media. Book. It is phenomenal. I'm getting so much feedback. So cop the book. The link is in the description. It's called Mastering the Art of Social Media. It's lit. And uh, let's get into this video. I'm gonna call my brother back here right now and I'm about to get some relationship advice, y'all. It's, it's going down. Here we go. Okay, so my brother's about to get to it right now. And uh, 
person would make it a little uncomfortable because I don't think I've ever got like relationship or like I like what you're wearing, girl, by the way. Them bright colors I like on you. Ex advice from my brother. Oh, yeah. Until it comes. Let's do it. She sure does like those black tees though. Hey, I'm with you. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Come on, sit down, man. What you looking at? You looking at that money? <laughs> what you mean was up with all that money? It's a lot of money right there. It is a lot of money right there. Right oh, feel it? Come on. Yeah, hey, you got cash in a bag just like that? I told you she didn't need the money, y'all. She's got it already. <laughs> that picture is lit, right? Right? Look at it. Look at That's it. Cute. Ooh, who's that? The, who's that to the left? The famo. That's that, that guy's handsome. But I think I think she's she's way she's way more handsome. You're And don't judge me because I will be sipping throughout this video, okay? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I got slots. Yeah, well, what up, man? How's it going, brother? What's going on, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Let's get them closer. You know, get more intimate with us. So, uh, what's new in your life? Working, okay. music, music, okay. Video games. Okay. What you playing right now? You said Star Wars and what else? Mortal Kombat. Okay. Yeah, you want to throw hands in Mortal Kombat. Okay, what's your gamer tag, bro? Uh it's my Instagram name. Tell the people what they don't know your Instagram. <laughs> uh, Promote boy. Empire of the Sun, you know, underscore you can go ahead hey. and me. Okay. Um, if you're making money if you're making money off of it, you better promote the fuck out of that shit. I skip on some games, so yeah. okay. My brother, he's a, he's a beast, you know what I'm saying? I like Call of Duty. You don't play Call of Duty no more? Not that much anymore. Why? I thought everybody was playing Call of Duty. I was just trying to get good again. I play Fortnite. <laughs> okay. I never got back into it. It's addicting. It's a very addicting game. Once yeah. you get into it, you get sucked into it and mm -hmm. you don't want to play anything else. I mean, I Fortnite, I feel like I'm, I took too long to play it. Yeah, okay, well sit up, bro. Come on, let the people see. Come close yeah, to Yeah, come on, come, come close. Come close. You know, if you guys don't know, my brother, him and I are different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm more like, you know, I'll go on, I love personality, I love making people laugh. My brother, he's like, hey, don't get me wrong, I like talking to you. I like doing all that weird stuff and being very spontaneous and, you know, improvising and all that. You know, it's just, I'm just very chill. You chill, bro. You just, you be, you be coasting, chilling, you know what I'm saying? He's just Chill vibe. I feel like when I see it more is when you're lit. Like when we drinking this stuff, it's like, all right, yo, my brother, he got a wild side. He comes. Me, like, okay. I feel like we all do. We all come out of our shell. Well, it's like, yo, your brother's so like chill. He hello. Vibing, you know, it's all about a vibe. I feel like you're always on like Mr. Smooth Criminal type mode. Like, yeah, I'm just vibing. Like you just. See, the thing is, is I'm like Batman. You know? You don't, oh. you don't know what to expect okay. at the time. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, okay. just part of my nature. Okay. okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I brought you back here today. It's different. You're back here, you know, a couple steps from your house. Um, because, you know, I know you know what's been going on, you know, uh, me and Natalie. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's uh, very interesting. Very interesting, yeah. Okay, so before I ask you the, the main question, I kind of wanted to ask you for some, you know, some advice before I get to the main question. Yeah. Ah, well, you know, a little big brother, you know, <laughs> a little sister advice never hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so me and Natalie, right, we've been best friends for years, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, now that we're kind of exploring each other or whatever, like, you know, how do I, you know, not, you know, or, you know, what? Wait, like what? How do you, are you like asking how to put the moves on her or? I mean, okay. I, mean, I think you, you know, do a pretty good job at that. I mean, I, I feel like it, but I feel like maybe either I'm coming off too strong, strong or she's just nervous or I'm just like, maybe, I don't know, like what, when is the right time? I'll give the signal, like, you know, the googly eyes, I'm like. See, before I was married, I never thought too deep into it. There's a lot of people that try to follow the rules and the guidelines of dating. Just go with the flow. It's like you'll feel the energy, you'll feel the other person's vibe, and then the dynamic will just naturally happen. That first kiss, that first love making, the first touch, the first affection, the first hug, it comes naturally. You both just feel it. I feel like if you overthink it too much, it's gonna get awkward. It just is. And I think I think she's overthinking it. You know, look at my lips and stuff, but it's just like, bro, I don't, I, I, I just never get to get there. You I know think, what I'm saying? I think the problem is, is you uh, think too much about it. You just act on your instincts. Tell I her. do that, bro. I do that. She be looking at me. I see her look at my lips, bro. And it's just like, okay, <laughs> this is the moment. I go in, she lean back. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, how am I supposed to, if I can't get to first base, 
Imagine, you know, <laughs> how am I supposed to get it? That might you take know, a while. How? That might take a while. Especially if you're going to be her very first sexual experience with a woman. Okay, it's gonna take her some time and most likely that first time you're gonna be doing all the work because you know She she knows how to deal with a man, but with a woman It's gonna be so new to her. You're gonna have to show her the moves You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to teach her how it's done and from there She'll get comfortable and she'll do the same right back Take it. I mean not like you know force yourself upon her But you yeah. know sometimes women like um, someone a little bit more stern and bold. Okay, so I mean like Take that control. Surprise her in a way, like you know, just mm. randomly come up from behind her and just, mm, you know, you know <laughs> grab, her, like, grab her cheeks. I no, mean, no. Just like, just no, 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 easy. <laughs> the lower back, the lower back is nice. That's a good first step. We're close to you, uh, you know, like a very intimate moment. You know, okay. a little silence. Try not to do like too much, like mm, all that. Oh, okay. Yeah. You might like make her feel nervous because you're just like, yeah. you know, um, just. You know, and take it slow too. I mean, it's okay. something she's new to, so you don't definitely you don't want to make her feel pressured. You want okay. to make sure that she's one hundred percent comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, all right. I feel I'm like, liking his advice. Yeah, I guess that's that's true because that's what I've been doing. I feel like I take it slow and added all the girls that I've ever dated or whatever. You know, of course, it's just like the ball is in my court. You know, when I'm ready to move and I'm ready to make a move, it's like, look, she's here with me. You feel me? So Natalie's different because it's like I thought that, you know, since being best friends, we was going to be here. But it's like, it's a tough one to crack, tough egg to crack. I mean, know? it's a different relationship. You guys went from just being best yep. friends, yeah. you know, cuddling and stuff and being close as best friends. But now that it's like, this is more, it's like, it's a little bit different mm. for her because you're so close. It's the transition. It's the transition that's making it kind of difficult, but it'll get there. Just be patient. Yeah, okay, okay. So like, when it does get there. I'm not the best on relationship advice either, so you know, I'm just speaking on- You're doing good. Self-experience. Okay, so you're doing good. Yeah. I mean, because you were like a player player. I feel like uh, you No. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me not put this business out there, y'all. Let me not, let me see it. You know, he said he don't do relationships, ladies. Like, he don't do relationships <laughs> right now, at least. He's chilling. And that's okay. Yeah. But, uh, but when I get to second base, do you have any, like, advice? Like, I was thinking of, you know, the jackhammer. Cornell taught me that. It's like a... I hit him with that jackhammer. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Definitely not the sound. No. Okay. All right. That's what I got to say. Slow. Slow. You want her to feel comfortable. You want her to feel safe. You want her to feel the love. You don't want her to feel like she just getting fucked. Not, that would not be a good idea as a first experience. I'm just letting you know right now. Cornell, you know. <sighs> All right, man. So the big question is, bro, like, Here we go. how do you feel about Natalie? Are you dating her or how do you feel about her in general? Like, what is your honest opinion? Because I need to ask my brother one-on-one, -on -one, having this sister-brother conversation. You know, how do you really feel about her? Um, I'm gonna stop it right here because I'm gonna say this. He likes her. He likes Nat Nat. I think he's just gonna fuck with her head for a little bit and at the end he's like, I'm, I'm just kidding, I like her. That's just me being a psychic, that's all. <laughs> I mean, do you really wanna know? What you mean? Yeah, hell yeah, I wanna know. Now, you're my brother, your opinion matters, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna know, like, what do you, I don't want to get attacked by your fans or whatnot, but um, you have to be honest. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean attacked? I mean, I think I, I definitely, you know, think Natalie's cool and whatnot. But um, as someone, you know, as you see yourself within the future, uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, I just think about it. I mean, you gotta be, you know. Hey, what? Wait, wait, what? I mean, I mean, okay, just just hear me out, okay? Bruh. She's been straight for most of her life, okay, and like. <laughs> now this is new to her. I right. mean, it's 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 in their name. She's been living the straight lifestyle her whole life. She was not straight. You don't just become straight. It's in your genetics. You were born that way. But it just takes people some time to find out who they are. Because most of the time, people live the straight lifestyle because that's all they know. You're not just stuck in a box. And once you open up your mind and you start to see people for who they are and not how they look, then that's when you find yourself. Some people find themselves out at age 50, at age 20, at age 10. There's no age to finding who you are. 
Sure. You know, I mean, it's something that she, you know, she grew up wanting and, you know, having or whatnot. But I mean, it's just like, I don't know. I just don't think that in the long run it's going to work out, to be honest. I mean, right now the fling is cool. You know, you guys got your YouTube channel, you're doing all this, <laughs> uh, this stuff and that. But I mean, like, I think serious, serious, like, you should. Um, He's I mean, joking. Yeah, you know, you guys can mess around right now, but I don't think you should get too serious about it. He's joking. Wait, 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 what? What are you talking about? I live like... I mean, it's just... just I didn't even I mean, know how You gotta really think about it. I mean, you're... Right. You're, you're thinking on your emotions right now, and, like, you're not thinking logically. How am I thinking of my emotions? Like, take it, take it serious. You're supposed you know, to be my brother, find right? a nice girl, some of <laughs> your business partners as well, and then when stuff goes wrong with your relationship and business, and oh. it's just, it's gonna be, it's gonna be your downfall. That I actually agree with. Mixing business with pleasure can be difficult. Some couples can do it, but when you do mix the two, it can cause a lot of stress and a lot of fighting. It's not really worth it sometimes. Your relationship with Natalie is going to be your downfall. What are you talking about? I mean, honestly, I just, I don't like her. I don't like Natalie. What do you, you don't like her? Are I, you, I don't, I don't think she's right for me. Race? Bro, I'm not stuff recording. Are you kidding me? Why does it look like he's crying? You wanted honesty, didn't you? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> See, I told you he was joking. <laughs> I told you. What the f I told you. you <laughs> your relationship will be your downfall. That was gold. Cool. Um, no. Bro, are you serious right now? Come on now. Bro, I was literally about to get emotional and like, I didn't know if I was going to be angry or not. Are you serious? Like, what? Is, I, why are you laughing? Oh my god, I was just messing with you. I, I think that was really cool. Natalie, if you're watching, I'm just totally messing around. I think, um... Bro, you... What? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I felt so awkward. I'm thinking this is gonna go a different route, bro. Like, I know, that was, that was the point. But see, that's the problem, though, Easy. Because you thought he was being for real, you were not gonna post this video. But I thought we were gonna be honest here. I thought we were gonna post everything throughout the whole process. So if he was telling the truth, you should post it regardless. Because that's life. Not every family member is going to approve. But if any family members does not approve, it does not matter because you sleep with that person. You deal with that person. You go through the ups and downs, the emotional roller coaster rides, the struggle, the successes with your partner, just you two. Even if your family did not approve, you know what it is. And I know people always say, think with your mind, but also follow your heart is at the same time. I believe people come into your life for a reason, whatever reason that is, it's part of your path whether you stay with them or not. But never go off of others' opinions. You have to trust yourself. Bro, what? This, bro, y'all see this? Y'all see this? How you gonna break me on my channel? I like, mean, I just got out of the shower. You're like, hey, bro, come back here. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, let's mess around. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay, so wait, how, wait, how do you well, feel? Entertainment. Bro, okay, so how do you feel about it? Wait, do you, you, you do like it, right? It's just funny. Of course. You know, those eyes, you know, watch out for those eyes. Okay, <laughs> curly well, hair. Um, she falling on his hair. That'd be fine, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, hey, that's what's up. You guys want a surrogate baby? Surrogate, you know, I can, you know. Okay, keep it in the family. I think that would be weird. Because that would be my, like, niece, nephew, daughter, so. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing around. Yo, wait, but I mean, that would kind of be a good idea. It would still look like me. <laughs> no, that'd be yeah, weird. Yeah, it'd be weird. Okay, be weird. it would be weird. Hey, son, daughter, nephew, uh, nephew <laughs> niece, like. <laughs> okay, so this guy, this he is annoying, you know what I'm saying? But now y'all know where I get it from. My family is full of jokes and stuff like that. I was really nervous, like, bro, like, wait, maybe I shouldn't record this because I really thought you didn't like her. I'm like, bro, it was all cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, that was cool. I see how you two are, how you two look at each other, and um, for you sure. know, it's a relationship that people should strive for. You know, you know I mean, it's I think if. If you learn anything from watching their videos, is mm -hmm. that if you're uh, friends with someone mm -hmm. or whatnot, um, take that chance. Hell you know, if you yeah. like them, take, take that, that risk. Take Hell that yeah, tell take them, that risk. Tell if not, then you're gonna. You have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Because if that doesn't work out, it's a true statement. There's plenty of fish in the sea. For the rest of your life. Exactly. I, I was, think you did, did a great job. Yeah, I'm over here secretly looking at that booty. I might as well just tell her, like, look. At least you'll I'm know. At that booty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all.
Thank you for watching this video, man. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Go follow my brother on his Instagram account. You know what I'm saying? Vampire in the sun underscore. It's lit. Thank you, bro. I love you. I need that advice, man. And uh, yeah, easy game. We out. Guy. I wasn't gonna film today. I was gonna chill, relax. It's my day off of work. But you know what? When there's a video that pops up in my subscriptions that I think is gonna be entertaining, and if I'm gonna have an opinion on it, I'm sure as hell gonna film. All right, so let me finish up my beer. And while I do that, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.